My name is Midshipman First Class Sean Fitzmorris, and I have the awesome privilege this semester of becoming the Brigade Commander uh, for the Brigade of Midshipmen at the United States Naval Academy. I'm from Hingham, Massachusetts, which is on Boston South Shore. I went to Hingham High School, public high school in town. Coming to the Academy is something I've wanted to do since middle school. It was only amplified my junior year in high school when I came to summer seminar and really enjoyed the entire week, the entire program that was offered to us. When I showed up at some summer seminar, I really had no idea what to expect of the Naval Academy. It was just kind of the movies and the TV shows that I had seen um, in pop culture. So to actually get here and get involved and get in the nitty gritty of what goes into midshipman life was actually more than I expected. Uh, I really fell in love with the place and I enjoyed the daily routine and really understanding what it meant and that it did mean something a little extra than just your normal civilian institution to come here and learn the leadership, learn the dedication, and learn and have the education provided to you as well. Coming out of high school, I applied to the Naval Academy and didn't get in. Uh, it was somewhere that I always wanted to go, but I took my second best option and went to Wake Forest University for a year. The second time I applied, I think that showing the commitment that this is something I'm totally dedicated to helps in the admissions process. Uh, I think that was might have been my strongest point was that I did come back at it a second time and proved that this is somewhere that I wanted to go. This is a career that I definitely wanted to have and becoming a midshipman at the United States Naval Academy was really my ultimate goal. I wanted to do something a whole lot more than all my civilian counterparts were doing. What I really didn't see was that much of a distinction between attending Wake Forest in North Carolina or going to Boston College back home or going to NYU or any other school that all of my friends had gone to. What I saw in the United States Naval Academy was a totally different option, a totally different career and something that was a whole new challenge that no one else was really facing and that could really separate myself and challenge myself to a whole new level. I was lucky enough to be selected as a submarine officer in the Navy and I will be heading to Charleston, South Carolina to start Navy Nuclear Power School in July of this year, so just about a month after graduation. I felt that I belonged in the submarine community a little bit more. I really enjoyed the strategy and the teamwork that goes into cramming into the cruise mess and the JOs really interacting with the junior enlisted, with any of the enlisted, the sort of team and family camaraderie that goes on on the sub and the technical aspect and the strategy of what you're doing on a submarine is really what drew me to the community. I approach everything that I do at the Naval Academy trying to get the most out of it that I can and I think that's a great lesson for all midshipmen to have to embrace every opportunity that's out there and there are countless numbers of them out there to become a leader, develop yourself morally, mentally, physically, and really challenge yourself to become a better man, a better woman, a better midshipman, and a better future officer. What I've learned about leadership here is that you really have to follow whatever your passion is, whatever your motivation is, because that's gonna be where your strengths are. And anytime you're acting, using your strengths, and following a passion, you're gonna do a great job doing it, and you're really gonna enjoy the time that you spend while you're doing it.